What's up guys, it's your girl Serpentine 10. And now that the first round of DLC characters for Street Fighter 6 has already been completed, we need to talk about who is probably very likely to show up for the next set. And I'm gonna talk about those characters that I think may make it today. And we're gonna start off with C Viper. So I think that this is the perfect time for C Viper to show up in this game. She would fit perfectly. I know that it's a lot of unfinished storylines and she definitely is one of them. The fact that she didn't show up at all in Street Fighter V was a little weird. Um, I don't know why that happened. Maybe they just felt like they just didn't have anything to do uh, with her. But I think that it is imperative that she shows up in this game people really like this character i know people did like her in street fighter 4 i thought she was really interesting as you know she showed up in marvelous capcom 3 that was a big surprise um but she's a perfect fit for the next game which is street fighter 6 i mean i think that she'll be a beautiful redesign she doesn't need to change a whole lot i hope if she does be in this game she needs to keep her hair her classic spy outfit things that you know scream c viper need to stay the same but i'm actually surprised that she's not in street fighter 6 because i feel like she would have been a great addition now her being dlc is a very high likely chance i mean as you know that it's a lot of times that if a character is not in one game it's very likely they skip that game and they end up being in the next one so does C Viper have a high chance being in Street Fighter 6? She might, but we just have to, you know, wait and see. Next, I'm gonna talk about Sean. So I know that Sean is a character that has been highly requested with a lot of people. Now, I did play Third Strike and I played him a little bit, but I always was drawn to Q for whatever reason, but I can understand why people like Sean. And I thought it was kind of strange that instead of having him in Street Fighter 5, they decided to introduce his sister, Laura. So I don't know how people really felt about Laura in Street Fighter 5, other than liking her appearance. So y'all let me know in the comments, did y'all like Laura? Was she a good character to y'all or was she just annoying? Because, you know, everybody wanted her brother, but we got her instead. So, Sean is someone that people have been wanting. He did show up and was mentioned in the Street Fighter 6 mode when you play with Ken. So, Ken does mention Sean a lot, that he mentored this kid and how he thought he was annoying, but, you know, he thought he had a lot of, you know, promise and he was gonna turn out to be a great fighter. So it's interesting that they mentioned him, but nothing really came out of that. So I don't know what they're gonna do with Sean. It'd be really interesting to see him because we really don't have any third strike characters. So Sean would be actually a perfect addition to actually join the Street Fighter VI uh, roster. Next, I'm gonna talk about Makoto. So Makoto is also a fan favorite. I used to always get Makota and Sakura mixed up. I don't know why. They just are two teenage girls that look kind of similar. <laughs> but Makoto's fighting style is way more different. Nobody fights like her either. So she really does stand out. I'm actually surprised she never came back. I always felt like she should have probably been on the roster more than Sakura. But I know Sakura is a very classic character. And that's why people want her. And there's very high chance that Makoto might come back. It's weird that she wasn't on 5. I mean, we haven't seen her since Street Fighter 4, so it's really likely she will be here. Her hard-hitting strikes, her unique fighting style, and her just very, you know, aggressive play style is very unique, and we need a new type of character like that to be on the roster. So what do you guys think? Is Makoto going to come back? I mean, should she have a spot on the DLC roster? You guys let me know. So finally, I'm gonna talk about Dudley. So Dudley is a classic. So I know that we don't really have anybody else as a boxer other than Ed. So us having someone else that is a boxer that's been highly requested is very likely. And a lot of people want Dudley. Now, I don't know where Balrog is. He didn't die. He's out there in the world somewhere, but I don't know if he's coming back. I don't know if they're gonna resurrect this four king thing, but Dudley, 
it's a high chance he might show up so i don't know if you guys remember there was an image floating around in street fighter 6 of like i think guy getting his hair cut and it was a guy cutting his hair that looked at just like dudley but he had like tattoos and, and stuff now i don't know if that is dudley like dudley's redesign it would be cool if it is like what if he kind of like changed himself up a little bit you know he's still very like you know royal or regal or very high class you know but he kind of changed up his look it's very likely he did he did that but we don't know for sure if that is Dudley and if they hinted at him at all now I know a lot of people do want this character I mean I would like this character back I always thought he was cool you know he got a really <laughs> classic theme just hearing that theme remix it would be amazing <laughs> to be honest so what do y'all think about Dudley coming back I know he's been highly requested and I would actually like him to come back I think that we need another boxer um I don't have a problem with Ed but to be honest I mean I would rather have Dudley instead so those are my picks and thoughts about who could return for Street Fighter 6 for our next season's DLC. So you guys let me know what you think about these characters and who else you guys want on the roster in the future. But you guys know what you have to do. Make sure you guys are following me on my Twitter and make sure you guys check me out here every week on YouTube. Until next time, guys. Peace.